Well, here's a world championship conversation that you're only getting to see at MonsterJam.com. You got I it. I love winning it with you. Good 12 deal. years, two you got champs. It. Awesome. Racing hey, title. Hey, you got one of these already today. So you know what? I got two time now. I'm working my way that way. He's one of the original Fab Five. Fab That's right. You know it, Lupe. He knows, my man. Jim Holy Kohler, God. you're the world champion again. What's it feel like? It's like it's insane, dude. I can't even describe it. Just like back in 2003, it was just uh, just a wild time sitting up there. I can't imagine what Cam had to feel like chomping the nails for all 23 trucks after him and then to have a silly tiebreaker do it. But... They laid it out. That's how it goes. Everybody knew it. Everybody knew it, you know. And even though he didn't win, he still rocked it, dude. He's a legend. He backflipped it. He kept jumping. It was awesome. But sitting up there, Scott, just like back then, watching them guys go, it's insane because you want them not to do good. But as a fan inside, I want them to rock. But it feels darn good, brother, to be back on top again. I Jimmy, love it. Jimmy, you, you won it in 2003. You've come back every year. You, everybody loves seeing how you're going to paint it up. That beautiful candy apple red Chevy Bel Air. You loved it, didn't you? Never looked better. It was sweet. Oh, yeah. But I've got to wonder, year after year clicked off, did you ever question whether you could do it again? This competition just keeps going so big. You know. This new talent. W the new talent just watching Ryan in the encore, you know it's going to be harder and harder to win. When I won, there was only 16 trucks, and I thought, wow, that was tough. But... Now it's 24 trucks of 24 trucks, not afraid to do anything. First guy out holds a hot seat that long. They could have all held it, you know what I'm saying? But Jamie and Tim and them guys at Garner Towing painted that 57 Bel Air. They told me, we're going to make this thing look so sick and so beautiful. We want you to go out there and kill it. Show them what it's made of. And that motivated me. They put their time and money into making it look good. I had to bring home some kind of trophy. I got to make one small correction, however, because you said 16 trucks. You beat, yeah, that time. This time you beat 24. Let me bring Cam McQueen in and see if we can. Cam, come on over here real quick. That's taking one of the maximum destructions off. Wait, wait a minute. We got right out of the way here. See, you're getting it all here at MonsterJam.com. We tell you, see, we take people at MonsterJam.com right in the middle of the action. Cam, again. Everybody just feels so terrible for you, but that's the rules and everybody knows it. The first tiebreaker, it was Stella tied. They went to the second tiebreaker and Jimmy edged you out by a point. But what can you do? You gotta have the satisfaction of an amazing rock and freestyle. And we, everybody loved it. Absolutely, I don't feel, feel terrible at all. You know, I've been watching Jim run since I was a little kid. Thanks. Finally got a chance to get in here. Yeah, I mean, it was I was a kid just not too long ago, but. Got a I'm chance to, to join the sport and watching him and Dennis and Tom and all these guys run. You know, I feel like I'm kind of part of this new generation coming in, chasing these guys down. And they've set the bar all these years. So tonight, they threw me out there first. That's what I had to do. You know, Nitro Circus, that's what we do. We go out, we innovate, we go big. And it worked out well tonight. Sat in the hot seat right till the end. Trucks kept dropping. I couldn't believe it. Finally, it's me and Jim looking face to face, and I said, man, either way it goes, this is awesome. It's an honor to be up here with you. No doubt about it. I want you to know, nobody else is getting this except you folks at MonsterJam.com. Dennis Anderson even in here with us. What an amazing night. I'm telling you, man, I went down the tubes quick. I'm telling you, <laughs> I failed. Me and Adam fell to our knees in a hurry, but the encore in the end, I'm going to tell you right now, Ryan Anderson pulled us back out of the tubes there. But, man, let me tell you something. The biggest, baddest win that I wanted to happen this night was this dude right here. That, I'm that telling is... you. And I told you. I told oh, you. you I he wanted to win this me. thing, and if I couldn't win it, I want Jim Kohler. This guy flat out deserves it. He goes hard. He's on his dime, his own dime, ripping it up. And this dude over here on the left-hand side, he's a scary creature. I'm telling you. He's <laughs> got hey, He has got he's some brand-new setter. moves. He is the mark of the backflip, and everybody's trying to perfect it and chase, chase him down. 
So now you know how I feel, buddy. It don't take but one or two good moves, and then they're on it. But Cam, you're a hell of a driver, buddy, Thank you, and you're going way, way a long ways with Monster Jam. I'll be sitting on the rocking chair on the porch <laughs> watching you guys. But y'all are off the hook. Oh, man. Congratulations, awesome. Jim. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks. If you ever wondered why you gotta always keep checking into MonsterJam.com, you get the stuff you get nowhere else. I'm Scott Douglas. Congratulations to the new World Freestyle Champion Jim Kohler and the Avenger, but with a not an asterisk, but a guy who was definitely 1A tonight. The tiebreaker is the only thing that kept Cam McQueen from joining that fraternity.